Just found sexts on my 32M wife's 30F phone, but not sure if she is cheating. I don't even know where to start. I came home from work early because I felt like vomiting all day after I found out this morning, and I couldn't be around people anymore. My wife and I both use Reddit, and usually it's no harm, things like Ida etc. And we often show each other or read off funny things we find. Last night, we're sitting on the couch and I'm playing a game and I see she's on Reddit, but typing sometimes and smiling. I'm all like babe what are you posting and she shows me a random post that's not her, but then goes to the bathroom saying she's having stomach issues after a couple men with her phone and stays there for a while. It's pretty clear she's typing and not wanting me to see, but I try not to think too much on it. We trust each other and I don't want to invade her privacy. She doesn't come back to the couch and says she's going to bed very early for her and I join her later and see she's still occasionally looking at her phone, but I'm exhausted and pass out. When I wake up today, I have the strangest feeling inside me, like I know something is horribly wrong, and it has to do with last night. I really shouldn't have done this when I had this presentation at work today, but I can't help it. When she's in the shower, I snoop on her phone. I don't have much time, but I look on her Reddit account. Turns out she has a couple throwaway accounts where she's all up sexting with guys. I am almost throwing up typing this. It's so disgusting. I see dick pics, her boobs, explicit fantasies, etc etc like seriously WTF. Is this real? I don't think she knows these people judging by the age of the messages. I never expected this from the mother of my kids in a million years. In some way, this feels worse than if she were sexting with a friend or coworker. Like how does she get off on people that she doesn't even know? Am I that shitty of a husband where she needs attention on this low level? Where me telling her she's beautiful and making love to her in person isn't enough and she needs it from strangers? It's not like we don't have an active sex life. It's not like we're not kinky and engaging in things that give her pleasure. I keep thinking this is all a dream. I didn't have much time to snoop, but I took pics of some of the worst texts with my phone. I went into her texts and email but didn't see anything. I didn't have much time to look though because she was done with the shower. I was numb and didn't confront her. I basically just left for work and yelled I was late and that's it, whereas we usually get our kids ready together. I say a proper goodbye. Now I've been sitting at home alone for the past hour not knowing what to do. I know the smart thing is to wait to snoop more before I confront her, but I don't think I have the patience for it. I also am not even sure what to do about this. Is this actually cheating for real? Is there any hope that this meant nothing to her and she can stop? Fuck, I don't even know if I would have the strength to leave her if she can't. What are the chances that random sexts are it and she hasn't ever met up with anyone in person? I'm so disgusted right now. Update. Wow. The last 24 hours have been the hardest of my life. I gave a quick update in comments already but basically I waited a day. So I could snoop more. But I didn't find anything more than a couple of explicit text threads. Then, yesterday after kids in bed, I decided to confront. I started by saying are you doing anything inappropriate you'd like to tell me about? And maybe it was my body language or she realized something was wrong with me. But she immediately broke down and admitted to it. She had done it once before for a couple days a few months ago. It was a combination of stumbling into it boredom and wanting validation. She has had issues with her body for a while and wanted some reassurance that she was still attractive, saying I have to say it so she couldn't believe me when I give her compliments. She claims that she was turned on by the attention but that she didn't actually get off and only was pretending to. She had no clue what these men actually looked like besides their dicks obviously, so she said she couldn't actually get into it and didn't even want to take it that far. She compared it to if I had personal chats with someone on of except she wasn't even masturbating. She cried, apologized a million times, and didn't try to blame me at all. She did try to minimize it, though, and wouldn't acknowledge the word cheating at first. I had planned to only engage for about 30 minutes, so I set a silent alarm on my phone. When it went off, I literally dropped it in the middle of the conversation and left for the hotel. That was the hardest thing I'd ever done, as she was begging me not to leave. I took some Benadryl but still took a while to fall asleep by myself after silencing my phone and putting it in a drawer so I wasn't tempted. I woke up several times but resisted the urge to check it. But first thing in the morning, I couldn't help it. Obviously, she blew up my phone with texts, calls, etc saying what you'd expect. She also sent me a long email where she admitted that it was cheating and that she deserved divorce and anything I chose, but she was willing to do anything to get another chance to gain my trust back. I actually went home by 7 because of my kids. She didn't actually threaten to, but in the state she was in, I was afraid she'd hurt herself and then they'd be there alone. We don't have any family close by. Of course I was afraid for her too, but mostly my heart was racing because of the kids. She hadn't slept all night and I told her to go sleep, and I'd watch the kids, but she took a shower only and drank coffee to help me. We've talked in little bursts throughout the day while they're watching TV. She's crying on off. She finally is taking a nap now since she's been up all day. And I think I've given her some indication that I'm not planning on walking away from the marriage immediately, even though I haven't said I forgive her or anything close to it. I told her basically I haven't decided but I don't know how I can trust her again. 
She says she understands and she'd feel close to the same way if it were me. She deleted Reddit and also says I have full access to her phone upon request. She says I can track her location or do whatever I want for as long as it takes or maybe even forever. She admitted that she thought I'd never find out because she was going to end these chats soon enough. But she also admitted she may have done it again in the future if she hadn't gotten caught because in her mind, she was rationalizing it as harmless validation and only pretending to be into it as much as she was. She says she understands that it's not harmless and has hurt me permanently. She claims she never would have met up with anyone. I asked her whether she'd get bored and take it to the next level. And she says she couldn't imagine herself ever doing that. But she also admits she fell into even taking it this far. We're obviously getting marriage counseling. She also said she will start therapy again had done it once in the past to figure out why she needs this much validation and how she can overcome this desire. I told her we need to sleep separately and she volunteered to stay on an air mattress in our daughter's room. I cried too for the first time since this began during one of the convos this afternoon. I hadn't been able to this whole time. I feel like she broke my heart but I also feel her sorrow. I do know of her intense need for validation. She had a rough childhood where she was abused in different ways by both parents, and then was with an abusive BF who nagged her for years before she met me. She is a normal weight but thinks she's morbidly obese. She thinks she brainwashed me her words somehow to get me to stay with her. I truly don't see her as being a manipulative person. She told me she loves me more than anything and she hates that she hurt me. Said this like 1000 times. I'm so exhausted. I don't know what I'm hoping. But I just wanna not feel this pain. At the very least, I think I'll go ahead with the counseling to see how this can be salvaged. The texts and images still disgust me, but I feel sad more than anger. Thanks, everyone for reading this and all the support comments. I read them multiple times, and a lot of the advice was spot on and helped me get this far. I may update later in another post, but I might also take a break from my phone for a few days.